So if you're interested in a data science career, where should you start? Look no further, because in this video, Naveed, a data science leader with Amazon, is going to break down the best places, tips, and resources to get started in a data science career. Check it out. Hey, friends. Welcome to Chine Coaching. I'm Rob Super excited to have you hanging out with us for this really fun conversation. Naveed has so much experience in data science, and he's going to give great tips and guidance to help you guys, whether you're a student or just new in the industry, to really get started in that data science career. And make sure you stay to the very end. We've got some bonus power tips at the very end of this video that you don't want to miss out. But Naveed, go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Hey Rob, uh, thanks for having me for the part two of the video. I know we did a great uh, part one of the video, which I believe was uh, super helpful. So just a quick intro uh, about myself. So I'm a senior data scientist at Amazon working on fraud and abuse prevention for the third party marketplace. Essentially, I work on building a machine learning and deep learning model to keep the marketplace safe and keeping bad actors away from the platform so that customers can have a good shopping experience. Prior to Amazon, I worked for companies like KPMG and Fidelity. So I have a wide variety of uh, corporate experience is very diverse uh, skill set. I hope that uh, through this video, I'm able to give away some of the knowledge that I've acquired uh, through the last uh, couple of years. Yep. Definitely. It's going to be great. Trying coaching is all about helping people succeed in their cross-cultural journeys, especially with studies, careers. And so this is going to be a really fun video. But let's jump in and start. So our first question is, where should people start learning about data science? Sure. Yeah, I think it's a very important question. My suggestion would be covering topics uh, that are related to some of these key areas. One is around statistics, because that's the core of uh, data science. Second is around math concepts, such as linear algebra and probability helps a lot with uh, machine learning and mo modeling. Third is the machine learning concepts itself, right? Learning about algorithms like classification algorithms, regression, and so on. The fourth area is around A-B testing. So I think that's pretty important when you are dealing with experimentation. The last uh, important topic would be around product science and metrics development, because as data scientists, uh, you do spend time around answering product related questions questions and uh, developing some of these metrics. Now, in terms of where can you find all of these topics, uh, I think there are like a bunch of courses online out there and a couple of places that I personally visit, which has good content is one is Coursera thing and that's pretty famous as well. Second is Medium uh, blogging post where you have like various industry leaders come there, give away uh, their learnings and findings. But there are other places like Dataversity towards AI. There's one other new uh, website that recently launched called as Mark Tech Post, which works on simplifying research papers into quick summaries that you can uh, quickly read and digest. Yeah, I think these are like some of the places where you can find all these courses online. And if you're specifically looking for more guidance or more you know, professional sort of a guidance, uh, I think institutes uh, such as Data Incubator have Data Science Fellowship, where you would be uh, taught by like specific instructors and that has a very good curriculum as well. So yeah, I guess there's a bunch of courses online out there, but these would be some of my recommendations. Courses by Andrew NG on Coursera are, uh, are very good good as well. Mm, yeah, I've heard of those yeah. great reviews. Uh, I know Ashwari has talked about those in her yeah. videos too about data science. So we'll have a link for all those in the resources. Yep. If you guys want to check those out, go deeper, go further. So Naveed, data science is a big buzzword. Everyone wants to get in these jobs, make the big bucks, but it's maybe not always the best thing or the easiest thing. Yeah. So how should somebody know really if data science is for them and how can they figure that out? I guess a couple of questions that one has to ask themselves, right? I think one is like, do you like data wrangling, data cleaning, because that's a huge portion of your time that you have to spend with. It's not always about just building fancy models, right? A lot of it is to do, I think at least uh, 60 to 70 percent of your time would just go and like understanding the data uh, cleaning up messy data and then using using that so if that's something that you're comfortable doing i think you check one of the boxes at least second is do you enjoy building narratives and story from the data itself right are you a person who really enjoys that you know you have like some raw data you are working on getting insights and building some narratives and stories around it that you can convey to stakeholders if that's something that interests you i think that validates another checkpoint third would be as scientists you're always uh, working towards experimentation right i mean nothing is a guaranteed success in data science you try a bunch of different things build different models to see if it works out or not so having the patience and interest in experimentation is another important aspect that you want to evaluate for yourself if that's something you enjoy. And then there's a lot of ambiguity in this space, right? Because not all problems are well-defined. So, and sometimes even the business stakeholders don't know what uh, and how they want to use data science into their uh, 
domain so you'd have to deal with that ambiguity navigate that come up with guidance and suggestion so yeah i think these are a couple of uh, aspects that you need to answer for yourself if all of these things excite you and i think yeah then i guess uh, you could definitely give it a shot great yeah those are some great parameters to think about if yeah. you know this is a really a field and a job and what you want to do right day to day so i know people want to know how to get experience you know it's good to be able to test things right. out and show that you know what you're doing so yeah. let's talk about competitions and what are some data science competition platforms where people can get some yeah. experience uh network and really kind of show off what they're learning and doing yeah absolutely i think a lot of uh, data science competition platforms do exist out there and the reason why it's important to participate in those is first is that it's a great learning opportunity right because there are like different types of competitions that are hosted there second is you can try out various state of the art uh, models or experimentation techniques on some of those problems and get a hands on experience third is you can also network with like minded people because there are many people who are also participating in those conferences you get to share your learning learn from others and and so on and then there is always a leaderboard on all of these competition where you can you know, mm-hmm. showcase your talent if you do really do well you show up on the leaderboard as like number 1 or number 2 uh, and then finally there's also a prize attached to every competition so that that's a good thing as well but it shouldn't be the sole criteria but should be the learning and the experience from these uh, competitions in terms of platforms uh, the very famous one i think most of us would be aware is kaggle which hosts okay. a bunch of uh, competitions for data mm-hmm. science uh, that's that's pretty good there is other uh, platform called driven data and then cloud analytics coda lab and zindi is another uh, platform that's actually getting traction in the africa region mm. uh, so zindi zindi yes okay uh, zindi. cool that's a new one for me it's a, it's a more more recent sort of initiative that's been taken by the african uh, data science community oh cool so, yeah so that's a, that's a good one as well so yeah i think these uh, five are like good platforms to at least start with and yeah i think uh, we'll have these links in the video as well for people to uh, go and visit so yeah i think these are some good platforms to at least uh, go and explore yeah. For sure, we'll hook you guys up yeah. with those resources. My friends, if you're learning a lot already, give a big like and thumbs up, smash that like button, say thanks to Navid for sharing these resources, giving the guidance. We've got some great tips coming up still. But first, our chai question in this video is, what other questions do you guys have about data science? Let us know in the comments. And again, Navid, I said data science got a lot of experience uh being a data science leader and so yeah we want to help you guys out and see what other questions you guys have and we can make some more videos about that as well so tell us in the comments your questions about data science and now our next question we're going to talk about is research papers publications participation and the mean why is that important for data science research papers and participating in those research activities i think the primary channel for passing on knowledge to other scientists working in the same field or you know fields related to data science so additionally within data science it's very important to hone the skills of writing papers to demonstrate your ability to understand and relate to what you've learned as well as you know receive some critical peer feedback from what you're innovating or mm-hmm. what you're working on so yeah these are some aspects where you it's important to gain knowledge by writing these papers networking with other scientists also getting citations on your paper right if others are able mm-hmm. to reference your paper and implement those findings into their work i think that's a great benefit to the entire community and then once you write research papers you start getting like citations through your google scholar account and and things of that nature so it's a good credential to have but more importantly it's all about learning and sharing your findings with the larger data science community and becoming a leader within that community right so that that would be something aspect where is a place people can maybe go find some examples and maybe yeah. get some inspiration and see yeah. oh yeah maybe i could try that out yeah absolutely so there are a lot of organiza- organizations for example ieee has their own data science and big data related uh, domains where people go and post their uh, research papers i think some of those papers mm-hmm. would be uh, handy to you know get okay. a sense of how exactly can one write about research papers mm-hmm. yeah we can drop in some links as well to some of those papers uh, so that people have a reference but yeah a bunch of resources online where okay. you can find like papers written by multiple co-authors uh, that can give you a good sense of how you can go about writing this and it's always good to work in a small group of uh, like-minded scientists right on a specific mm. topic uh, that will help you at least get a couple of your papers published or get some peer feedback awesome great tip yeah i'm familiar with ieee just a couple of weeks ago we recorded another video with my friend jay who's uh-huh. published and presented lots of papers right. we made a whole video about how to get published and how to right. publish research oh, papers yeah. so once that's posted we'll also link it in here so you guys can get more step by steps on how to practically do that and follow this suggestion from Navid so i love that 
And Naveed has also done another great video with us as well. Um, just again, it was kind of a conversation about him being a data science leader, what that career looks like, how to excel and really grow in your career. So again, check that one out. We'll have the links kind of learning more about what a career and growing your data science career looks like, because this video is kind of focused at the very beginning and getting started in it. But now our bonus power tips, you know, we save these good ones to the very end. So yeah, what would you just leave with people who are getting started? You know, what are those special power tips that could really help them get going in the right direction? I think one, uh, aspect that has really helped me a lot in my career journey is that always keep growing your skill set, keep learning as much technical uh, skills as you can because data science is a very uh, fast evolving industry and you need to be uh, up to date with all the latest algorithms or state of the art uh, technology. So one is keep growing your skill set. Second is working on uh, undefined problems uh, that have a lot of ambiguity because uh, although it may not be easy to just solve uh, well-defined problems, but it is even more difficult and challenging to solve a problem that has a lot of ambiguity. Right. And if you're able to solve such complex problems, I think that will actually give you a good visibility if someone is, you know, looking at your credentials. So I think uh, having a mix of both well-defined as well as ambiguous problems, solving them is uh, really important. And the other aspect is, you know, from the work that you do, just uh, focus on uh, the most important thing, which is impact, right? I cannot stress mm -hmm. enough, enough on this. Uh, any work that you do as a data scientist uh, eventually should lead to some impact that is measurable. That's important. And again, work on different projects, different areas of data science. Just don't be like stuck on one specific area, mm -hmm. work on different problems like classification, regression, forecasting, experimentation, and so on. And along with all of the breadth uh, of uh, data science, focus on the science depth as well understand the inner workings of all the different mechanisms and i think last uh, aspect that i've also been um, you know, doing a lot in the last couple of uh, months is like participating in conferences and giving mm. talks uh in, in data science i think that's uh, that's really fun and, and nice to participate and uh, you know grow the data science community uh, within the us and other parts of the world so i think that would be some steps you know that will eventually align yourself growing as a leader within the community so mm -hmm. yeah i think those would be some of the tips I love it. I'll add one bonus tip too, especially for sure. students or people who are just kind of get started. Go check out on LinkedIn. LinkedIn has incredible search engine and go check out the profiles of people with data science jobs, data analyst, data scientist, you know, those kind of things and see, check out their profile, see what kind of skills they have, see what kind of certifications they have, see what kind of experience they have. And if they're in a role that you're interested, see what gaps you have in your profile and that's a great starting point to start building so you can be qualified the people who are actually doing those jobs. So LinkedIn is a great way to research and see where you can excel and grow and develop yourself to get into those kind of job roles you would be excited about doing. We're going to have all the links and resources in the video description that we mentioned. I mean, Naveed shared so much, which was awesome. We've got some other great videos we'll have in there as well that are relevant. And Naveed, thanks so much, buddy. I learned a lot. This is going to be super helpful. I appreciate you hanging out again. Thank you so much, Rob, uh, for taking the time. Definitely. And friends, be sure to connect with us online on social media. Like I said, LinkedIn, Instagram. Be sure to be subscribed to the Chai Coaching E newsletter as well. with great resources, tips, events coming up. And as always, thanks so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate you tuning in. And we'll see you next time at Chai Coaching. Cheers.